What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another FIFA 20 video. It is just about to turn 6pm on Monday and that means guys that the rest of the world team of the season is going to be here and I really hope something a little bit creative from EA somewhere else. So there's five uh, 50k packs, no lightning rounds um, in stores. I'm hoping for some cool season players and season objectives. I'm hoping for a good rest of world team. Uh, maybe a nice SBC and more importantly because ultimate team of the season is now in packs and obviously it's split between the five leagues I'm really hoping for like a multitude of upgrade packs like let's let's get some for like you know some of the Bundesliga upgrades some of the Serie A upgrades etc etc so we can actually grind towards something um, for this final week rather than just getting league specific upgrades on Thursday for one day again and then, of course, if, if they do give league-specific upgrades on Thursday for one day, you're looking at, like, instead of having a full team of the season in the packs, just having, like, three or four at most five team of the seasons in the packs. And that's not what we want. So, um, it's been a long time since I've hit a team of the season. I really would have thought that the, um, that the uh, team of the season cards from the minor leagues would have been, you know, quick and, quick and often. But it just seems like... That's not the case. It seems like uh, the, these players are near impossible to pack. Can we finally get a blue? No. So I've got one more of these 50Ks and then we'll get into the content. And if the content's dead, we'll go back and finish off the thief points with the 55Ks. But uh, we're getting all the goalkeepers in the world, the gulashis and uh, whatnots. I don't have too much trade pile space left, so I've got to uh, be a little bit careful about who I keep and who I don't. But here we go. Um, the final... Uh, 1,000 FIFA point pack. Is it going to contain a blue for us this time? Yes, it is. We've got a team of the season. Come on, be a big one. Brazil, go on, left wing, left wing. Cam, wait, who even is that? Oh, it is one of the new cards. I don't even know who that is. It's Cecinia. Oh, he looks all right. Oh, depending on what his skill moves and weak foot are uh, and, and his in-game stats on some of his dribbling uh, stats, he looks... Oh, my God, there's two. We've got the new left back. Look at that, 285s in there as well. Gulashi again. Um, the new left back, Letizia, five star weak foot. That's really nice. And Italian. Oh, that's a nice card. That is his pace is fantastic. His passing needs a bit of work. His dribbling is very good for a fullback. His defending and physicals are very nice as well. Um, I think with his pace, something that boosts his defending, physical, and passing at what is it, backbone or guardian or whatever it's called, um, could be quite good. But that with a five star weak foot is fantastic. And then this guy right here. Have a look, he's a four star, five star Brazilian. Really nice trait uh, stats. No, no good traits, but his pace, his shooting is great. His dribbling is very good. His passing is quite nice, and his physicals are very good as well. That is a really good card. I wonder what his price is going to be. He's coming in at already down at 250 there from the Korean League. But as a Brazilian, links very, very nicely to a lot. So that's two of the new uh, team of the seasons. Let's go and have a look, first of all, what we've got for a player objective. Um, it is going to be team of the season so far, Evander. Another Brazilian. Oh, that's nice. Um, from the Danish league, I do believe. And to uh, to complete it, you need to score in three separate squad battles matches uh, using Danish Super League players. Score five finesse goals uh, using Brazilian players. Assist in three separate squad battles matches with midfielders with a minimum of four-star weak foot. And score and assist in five squad battles wins uh, using Brazilian players with four-star skill moves. Minimum four-star skill moves. Or you can do all of that in rivals. That really isn't bad. Um, I'd, I'd like to see his in-game stats. But he looks like he'll be a good box-to-box -box midfielder or a good CDM uh, from Evander there. Is there anything new? Um, no, other than Evander, it seems like there is nothing new. But as I say, I do quite like that card. Um, and then let's have a look then at SBCs before we get into the squad itself. Um, Luka Modric, have they updated it? Now they've updated it. His foot 16 team of the season. Oh, Denise Undav, a German striker. Jesus, man. Wow. I mean, what's his traits? No traits at all. Five star weak foot. This card's interesting, man. Depending on his rating, medium low work rates suck. Honestly, like I've used so many medium, medium, and medium low work rate strikers this year, and I hate them. Uh, you really have to work hard to get them into the right positions and such. Uh, Three-star skill moves isn't necessarily the worst. You could ball roll. You could lateral heel to heel flick. You can fake shot. You can drag back. No problem at all. Five-star weak foot is fantastic. And then if for his in-game in stats, I mean, 
that is pretty brilliant. You know, 97 agility, 99 balance, 99 strength, 92 aggression. His stamina is a bit of an issue. You're going to have to sub him on or sub him off. But for a one squad player with those stats, if this is an 83 rated or less, absolutely calm. If it's an 83 or high, and oh my days, you have got to be kidding me. An, an 85 rated squad with a team of the week and a German and 70 chemistry for this guy. I'm sorry, EA. He's from German League 3. He's just not that good. 81 reactions, 84 composure, 80 stamina, no traits. He is good. If, if this, as I say, if this was an 83 rated squad, you know, if you can get this card for like 30k or so, I would be like, yep, I'm all over that. Use him as a sub or if you've got a German themed team, you can start him for an 85 rated squad with a team of the week. When you look at Modric here, guys, for the, no, forget the 93 Modric, the 96 Modric, where is it? Oh, there is some upgrades here. When we look at the 96 Modric, has he been removed? No way. Have they, no way. Have they removed the 96 Modric? It looks like they have. That. Oh, no, it's because I did it. There we go. The 96 Modric, I think, is an 85 and an 86, isn't it? So I, I don't understand. Did they give us the uh, new, new league SBCs? Not tonight. Let's have a look at what else they have given us. Um, so I, I, I think this guy is an 85 rated. is just a joke. Honestly, I think an 83 rated would have been more than sufficient for a car from the Bundesliga 3, right? Like, yes, he's got some nice stats, but he's got a lot wrong with him. Um, so I think that's largely overpriced. Um, team of the season so far challenge for an untradeable pack is still there. Marky matchups is still there. So an 82 to an 88 rated upgrade. Um, let's see what EA are requiring for that. Seven golds, 45 chem. Well, it's not terrible. It's not terrible. Um, an 82 plus pack is going to require, what, 11 rare golds? Oh my God. An 82 rated squad for an 82 rated player. EA, do you realize it's June, right? Like an 83 double upgrade is there as well. This is probably going to be like an 85 rated squad, isn't it? An 83. So you need an 83 rated squad for two 83 or higher rated players. And then an 82 rated squad for one. Oh, no, it's two as well. It's a double upgrade. So I, I just can't get behind those, man. Like, they're, 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 that's just a rip off. Um, let's go and have a look, guys, at the team and the objective player and such. I am. Um, oh, my God. Look at that 95 Orsic. Let's first look at the. Uh, is it only is it only a small team of players? It looks like it is. Let's go and first look at Evander, the the um objective player. I mean, five star, four star is fantastic for him. I think his passing is brilliant. His dribbling in general is brilliant, other than composure. But as long as you play him, I, I think as a secondary CDM, he could be quite good. Um, I also think as a probably as an attacking player, he could also be quite good. I think a sniper on him gets him decent stats. A maestro is not bad. Probably wouldn't go with the maestro personally. Marksman, you need something to boost. Yes, yeah, dead eye is probably the one. 99 finishing shot power. 97 positioning long shots. 99 short pass and vision. 98 agility and balance. 94 dribbling and 88 ball control. So reactions and composure that really let him down. But he is super, super easy to achieve. Super easy to collect. 94 stamina and 85 aggression. I, I, I still think as a secondary CDM, he could be quite remarkable. Um... He's got fantastic stats, man. Great aggression. Good stand and slide tackle. His interceptions suck quite a bit, but there's there's something in this card. Um, I, I'd be interested to get in-game and play with him. He's got medium-medium work rates too. There's something about this card that does interest me as a easy objective card, as another Brazilian to put into the Brazilian links. Uh, you know, there, there's quite, quite a few um, benefits there. Now, this card, he has been given a monster upgrade, which you can't fault. Um, his skill moves and weak foot they haven't upgraded. His work rates they haven't changed either. Would have been nice if they did some of that. The card in general is it's really nice. You know, again, I, I rate EA for that, but it's got too many problems with the card for me to say that an 85 rate with the team of the season is worth it. 80 stamina, yeah, you can like who who wants to spend like what is it over 100k for an 89 rated card? I don't know anybody. Um, when we look at the Luka Modric setup, uh, where's Modric? Here we go. Flashback premium Modric. 
So for an 85 rated squad for Luka Modric, it's 93k or 91k. Um, and that's without a team of the season. So it's likely that with the team of the season needed, this Undav card is going to be over 100k or at least about 100k. Um, for me personally, for a card with low reactions, low composure and low stamina and no traits to go against that three-star skill moves, no flare trait or anything of the sort, I just can't, I can't say that that's good value. I, I, think, I think that's pretty poor from EA given what we've had from other cards and other SBC cards over the last few days, you are way better off building for something else. You just are. Um, he's got a lot right about him. His pace is tops. His dribbling outside of reaction and composure is fantastic. His strength and aggression are brilliant. His passing and finishing is brilliant. He's got five-star weak foot. He'll probably play really well. I just, I just, I just personally think that's just a bit too expensive uh, for that, um, for that card. And then, so, oh, so we have got a full... Um, a full setup of players. That Orsic card coming in first. Uh, uh, there we go. Team of the season so far, rest of the world. Okay, so it's not there just yet. Um, let's go back to the new players and have a look from where the new one is. So Ings. So another Japanese player. That's nice. Uh, let's have a look at all these. A Romanian player, quite nice, because uh, there's a couple of other... Well, there's Haji in there that you can link as a Romanian. Stuani. Always seems to get in team of the season, Stuani, doesn't he? No matter where he's playing. Um, a couple of these cards, and then that Cecenia card that we packed. He, he's decent. Evander there. Edouard is there. Uh, Marias is there as well. Jonathan David is there. I'm sure Nick's going to be super happy about that. Another Canadian uh, on the board. So here we go. So Nakagawa, silver base card, which is nice. Uh, he's already 15k, and that's why. 71 composure. Relatively poor strength and aggression. Passing is really mediocre for this stage of the game, as is shooting. That is a pretty poor card. Two-star skill with three-star weak foot, really pointless. Uh, you then got Brian, another silver card. Uh, or Burn, sorry, another silver card. Three-star, three-star. Terrible shooting again. Ter like Pace and passing is terrible. This is a horrible card. Absolutely horrible card. No wonder why that's already 15k as well. Two minutes out of packs. A goalkeeper that no one cares about. They're all the same. Uh, uh, Jawiak. Now, he's three-star, three-star as well. He's got terrible reactions and composure. He's got terrible shot power and long shots. Just another waste of a card, honestly. Honestly, absolute waste. Another silver card, though. So, opening silver packs, you might pack a whole bunch of team of seasons. You've got Komen, the, uh, the Romanian. He's been given a nice upgrade there. Another silver card. Four-star, three-star. Reactions and composure are terrible. Aggression is terrible. Shooting is terrible. Passing is terrible. There's just too much in this card that you, you, just, you can't even make this card half usable. Hilo work rate is quite nice, I suppose. Um, and four-star skill moves, but three-star weak foot. That is that is a really poor card. Uh, this is the card that we packed. He's all right for a fullback. Five-star weak foot for a fullback. Um, I think I said a backbone on him. No, not... Is that the part? Yeah, I, I agree. I, I agree with me from 10 minutes ago. A backbone on this card is brilliant. Uh, makes him a really well-rounded fullback. Great passing. A little bit low on vision. Brilliant defending. Brilliant pace. 99 agility and balance. Brilliant physicals other than aggression. And five-star weak foot. For, by looks of things, discard price for this card. That's a really good deal, I think. Um, we got uh, Kake. Kase, another silver player. Four-star weak foot, two-star skill moves. Shooting is horrendous. But he looks like he's more of a CDM. Oh, he's a left-back. Looks more like a left-back, to be fair. Um, his dribbling's all right for a left-back. His passing's all right, but... I, I prefer the Italian guy to him. At least there's a... Uh, a uh, Hyundai A-League player in the team of the season and another silver player, which is quite nice. Um, I'm not too fond of him, though. Another silver player here, the Spaniard. Uh, three-star, three-star. Where would he be best suited? Oh, he's quite well-rounded in Club 80. He doesn't mean much these days. His finishing is atrocious, as is his composure. I mean, this is just... This, again, is, is where I get confused with the boosts that EA are giving, right? Like... Just make this guy like a 91 or a 92 and make him usable. No one's going to be upset about that. I mean, you can, you, like, you can get him to be semi-usable. Good passing, good shooting, average everywhere else. 99 agility and balance off the bat is obviously quite nice. I just... Uh, it's, there's just so many better cards out there that are like 30k already. I just wouldn't waste my coins on that card. Uh, Ikrem here. He's a common goal to start with. 3-star, 4-star. Good stam. Great dribbling. Sorry, great passing. Bad shooting, bad dribbling. I mean, a sniper on him is much needed. 
And again, just makes him just medium low work rate, three star skill with his four star weak foot. It's just another absolute waste of a card, waste of a contribution. You know, what, what like EA just need to. I just don't understand why they're putting in these cards. We've then got Lee Bold. Now, he's really expensive for some reason, or maybe not. He's coming down on Xbox. Another silver card, which is nice. Now, this is a quality card. Um, Banker on here makes him an extremely good fullback. Brilliant pace, brilliant defending and physicals, great dribbling, good short passing, a little low on long passing, but three star, two star, which isn't isn't great. But I think that's a quality card. I think he could be he could make like a really good backup super sub for one of your defenders. Then got Stuani um, in uh, La Liga one two three these days. He's he's, he's all over the place. With another common gold. Um, I mean, this is just a waste of a card again, isn't it? Low agility and balance, absolutely atrocious passing, bang average pace, four star, three star no decent traits um next up we've got collar another goalkeeper silver but useless uh, and then we've got trauna another silver player uh, getting that boost um his physicals are brilliant who would he link with austrian from the austrian league his passing's not great his dribbling's not great he's got good balance but his pace is pretty good i mean yeah with the shadow he's nice man good pace good defending good physicals just extremely hard to link and not the best passing and dribbling. I expect he'll be like a, a 14, 15k card as well. Uh, El Arabi, lots of upgrades, but a common goal to start with. So could be easily packed nice and cheaply. Um, this card, based on nothing other than the fact that he knocked Arsenal out of the Europa League, is absolutely useless. And I would uh, highly advise against him. 77 stamina, 65 aggression with 66 balance in general anyway is is honestly shocking like he just he won't play well in game he just won't sit well in game at all um so far there's not been one player that we've looked at that i've been all right he's all right now this guy's a common silver labber here now this card is interesting high low work rates four star weak foot three star skill is not ideal but pace is brilliant his shooting is brilliant 99 in positioning finishing and shot power his physicals are very good his dribbling needs work. But th this, this for me, is, is a card that I can get behind. The first card where I think, okay, this is all right. Look at that with the Maestro, his face card stats, 96 for pace and shooting, 90 for passing, 92 dribbling, 93 physical. Like that, that, that can be a usable card. It's not gonna, he's not going to like blow you out of the water. He's not going to be some absolutely outrageous, amazing card. But he's definitely not going to be a bad card. Um... Marksman, I probably wouldn't give. Maestro, I'd give. Good passing, 99 agility. His balance sucks, and his composure is not ideal. But the rest of those card stats are very nice. That, that for me, is the first card that's decent. Uh, and he's probably going to be super cheap as well, because he will be ridiculously difficult to link. Uh, he's from a nation that has just no... Well, Adibayor's... Um, um, yeah, Adibayor... Well, Dejena, you can't really link him to. But Adibayor's card, you could potentially link him to. But Adibayor obviously sucks as well. Um... Other than that, you know, from the uh, United Arab Emirates League, you just can't you just can't link him to anyone. It's just impossible. Uh, we then got that Sassina card that I packed. Th this for me is probably one of the best cards. And yeah, look at that. He's actually coming in at like over 300k right now. He was one of the be best cards to pack. Um, a Maestro Chem style on him. See, now that's more like it. Four star skills, five star weak foot, Brazilian, easy to link. Uh, you pop an engine chem style on him. You got yourself a 95, 96 rated cam. Great stats. A little low on aggression and uh, and whatnot. But that, for me, that is a top, top tier card. Uh, that's a senior card. That is a really good card. Um, so, you know, for a Brazilian team, might be worth uh, checking him in. Eduard now, guys, coming in as a silver as well. Four star, four star. That is a good card. His reactions are a little low. But that is a good card. You might want to put a sniper on him. I think a sniper. Good physicals. Great shooting. Very good passing in the right areas. Curve, short pass, and vision. Fantastic for a striker. Four-star, four-star. Brilliant dribbling. I like that a lot. The only thing is missing is long shots, but you're not really going to be taking too many long shots with him. Maybe give him a maestro. Again, passing brilliant. Physicals brilliant. Shooting, pace, and dribbling brilliant. That, that, that is a quality card. Uh, I, I'd be very surprised if he came down too cheap. Um, Junior Marias, uh, another common gold. So these could be quite easy to pack. Three star, four star, not very good. Um, pace is good. Physicals aren't. Aggression, low aggression is, is very terrible. Shot power is terrible. Dribbling is terrible. 
Um, an engine makes him a decent cam, but not the greatest in the world. You know, his part well for a cam, his passing is terrible, but for a striker, his shot power is terrible. And to boost his shot power, you're going to need to put a finisher on him, which does give a good boost to aggression and such as well. But then his dribbling is terrible. This, this card is just a nightmare to deal with. Maestro is okay. Agility and balance is okay. Composure is okay. And the rest of his shooting stats are very good. Uh, but then you've got that low, low aggression. Um, uh, me personally, I'm not a particularly a big fan of this card. I can see some people would be appealed to this card. But for me, uh, not so much. And then Jonathan David... Again, another another Canadian. You can obviously soft link him, link him with um, Alfonso Davies. Five star weak foot. That is an interesting card because once again he's got he's got three star skill moves, but five star weak foot. He's seventy four rated, so he comes out as a silver, which is just beneficial if you get like electron packs and things like that. You have got a chance to pack him. His pace is brilliant. His dribbling in general is brilliant. His shooting in general is brilliant. His passing in general is brilliant. 99 short pass, 99 vision, 95 long pass. His physicals in general are brilliant. There are three minor issues with this card. His aggression is genuinely woeful. His reactions aren't the best. And his long shots aren't the best. Now an engine makes him a 97 cam. A sniper, oh, look at that. A sniper, that is a quality card. That is a quality card. A finisher as well. Gets 10 aggression up there. Perfect shooting. I mean, you can do basically anything. You, you could put pretty much anything on this card. And, and you, look at that. Maestro's got to be the one, hasn't it? Gets his dribbling right up. His shooting right up. His pace is brilliant. His physicals are brilliant. Aggr aggression, for me personally, aggression is an important stat. Um, but it's not one of those stats that's so make or break that I'll be like, oh no, his aggression is too low. It's one of those stats where I'm like, look, that'll cause you some problems. But the rest of this card is just so magnificent that you can't complain. Medium, medium sucks a little bit, but five-star weak foot, outrageous stats. That is a nice, nice card. And the last but not least, guys, Orsic. Again, comes out as a silver card. Now that is a ridiculous card. High, high work rates. 99 stam, 99 agility and balance, 99 pace, 99s in passing and shooting and all the dribbling stats. That is a fantastic card. I like that a lot. Yeah, Marksman could be the one for him. Nice little strength and aggression boost. You could do basically anything you want with this card and it's the right thing. That That is going to be a very, very good card. I don't know if it's 650k. Very, very good. But it's certainly up there. You know, it's certainly up there. Four star, three star skill moves only. So that sucks a little bit. Um, but there you go, guys. So that is the team. That is the rest of the world team of the season. That Undav at 90k is honestly an utter joke. An utter joke. This, though, guys, is going to be the end of the video for today. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, rating, comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.